What's up, YouTube fam? Hopefully, y'all are having an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal day. I know, freaking nation character demo just dropped. We're a day away from his release. I cannot wait. Let's do this character demo reaction. I'm gonna break it down, give my thoughts. We're gonna talk about any lore implications that they give us. Oh. Do not expose your identities and wait for the signal before you act. Yes, sir. Is this ninja organization? Shumatsume? Shumatsabe? Grand festivals like this monopolize the Tenryo Commission's resources. Ah, oh, bro, they gave them sauce in his Tiny demo. Is impeccable. <laughs> Pity you were all they sent. Let's go for a stroll. We wish to discuss cooperation with the Yashiro Commission. During the war. A humble suggestion. The Fatui would do well to update their intelligence concerns. Oh, this me. is what he denies, ah, though. Of course. That would require one of you to return in one piece. If assassinating me was that simple, I can name a few rival clans who would have had an easier time over the years. <laughs> this is like a night in all my country! Kamisato Art. Suiyu! Hello! Nah, bro, the animation was Dude, we failed to protect you. <laughs> I do not keep the Shumatsuban for the trivial matter of dealing with assassins. Ah, uh, trivial. So, what's the situation? Yeah, he said I'm built there for uh, The operation went smoothly. The resistance platoon is hidden near Tenshikaku. Forgive me, sir, but taking this level of risk that was seems out of character. Let's just say, I'm doing a small favor for my sister. Holy hell, he actually was helping them. He's the one that brought the resistance platoon when we were raiding Raiden Shogun in the final battle in the Inazuma main story. That's how they, I, like that was always a big question in the story. Like how did they know to be there at the right time, right when we were invading? It's because Aido had freaking eyes on us the entire time. He must have learned about us when we were with Ayaka. Taking this level of risk, it seems out of character. Damn, he risked his name Let's just for say, that. I'm doing a small favor for my sister. Oh, bro, he's a he's a family man, dude. Hell yeah. As as I I'm, I I love my brothers to death. I'm an older brother of two siblings, and it, it, it's so freaking cool to see a character adore his siblings the way that Aether does, and and clearly Aida with with Ayaka, and it was kind of obvious that the Kamisados were doing pretty good, good reputation wise after the Inazuma main story. The reputation skyrocketed, and Raiden even trusted Aida and the Kamisados, but the other clan slash commissions not so much since they were colluding with the Fatui. This is when he denied colluding with the Fatui. So this is hard, hard, hard. We saw him say no to working with the Fatui. That's crazy. Let's go for a stroll. Damn, they really pulled up on this guy with a freaking assassin, a sniper, a mage, and another mage. A humble suggestion. The Fatui would do well to update their intelligence concerning me. Ah, but of course, that would... <laughs> Bro, that track in the back, da 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 The Fatui would do well to update their intelligence concerning me. Ah, but of course, that would require one of you to return in one piece. The cinematic freaking angles of this trailer is... To return in nuts, man. That's, that's a freaking wallpaper right there. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. 
I like how there's two drops in this song. The first drop, we have a nice, elegant, and calculated drop. It's nothing crazy, but it's smooth. You got a nice beat in the back. It reminds you a little bit of like trap beats and hip hop beats, but it's still that traditional instrumental that you get that's representative of Japan slash Inazuma. And in one piece. pedals or the, the water pedals <laughs> and, and then there's like the the trap hip-hop beat right <laughs> kind of a callback to uh, a really cool callback actually to Kazuha's trap beats that you had in his character demo knowing that Kazuha is a descendant of the Kaitahara clan which was a very prominent clan uh, when it came to swordsmen and, and samurais Kamisato is also being a prominent swordsman you know clan so maybe a sign of respect to both clans right symbolizing that they are at the head of swordsmanship when it comes to Inazuma so that's pretty dope and, and dude the shots here man. the transition bro sliding the camera from left to the right side and then dashing across the screen to show the clip the the water clone appearing and him doing his virtual slices like hot. you could tell he has a lot of pride in inazuma like a lot of freaking pride he's like if you're trying to assassinate me trust me when i say when it comes to assassins when it comes to to fighting no one tops inazuma there are other clans that have you beat. <laughs> You're not even a part of the competition. Simple. I can name a few rival clans who would have had an easier time over the years. Oh. Kamisato Art. Suiyu. There's like a like like a melody of justice in this final drop, but there's also like undertones of like somberness too. Like he deals with a lot. Also, this shot right here where the assassin's coming in and he pops the ultimate, and the slow mo with the water drops coming in. Oh man, that oh dude! I just realized Sayu is actually with the Shumatsu uh, Shumatsuben right here. Like I know she's one of the Shumatsuben, but I didn't realize she was like with the squad. I didn't see her. Like, like she's so tiny and she looks like a squirrel. I, I'm gonna be real with you. I genuinely thought she was a squirrel. Right? That, that kind of goes back to Sayu's character of like, she's very hard to detect and Kamisato Aido is one of the only people that can detect her. That's why she's like almost always out of frame. Like the other two are in frame way longer than she is. As of saying that like she knows how to be better stealth than the majority of the Shumatsu, uh, Shumatsu bin. Not a hydro storm, a snowstorm of a transition. Kind of a callback to Ayaka and his sister. You even have like snow covered and frozen uh, plants all around. And you have the waves of water alongside the snow covered plants. Like it's a part of who he is as a person. Fun fact, this is the same type of cinematic effect and shot they use in Ayaka's character demo right here. This is the same shot. Black background, slightly blurred Gaussian blur effect all over Aido, right? A little bit of a glow and an after image as you can see right here. And she's got the trap beats too. Look at this, look at this, bro. This brother and sister, dude. That's so freaking adorable. Oh man, I love little details like that, man. Like, like they're a part of each other's identity. You know, they're brothers and sisters. And, and for him, he takes pride. In, and she takes pride in being his little sister. That's why his her ultimate is the same side angle like attack, right? It starts off with her looking off on the side and then doing the ult as Ido's. Oh, and they have the same background right here. over analysis on my part right here but do you think the reason why in her demo they have her like traveling across the water and then being able to stand on the water is like symbolism for her being boosted by her brother which is representative of the water and the reason why i say that is after she makes the ice platform on the water and she uses 
you see these blue flowers all around her, which is signature to the area where she did the dance for the Traveler Aether. But in Eidos, it creates these blue water, like lily slash flowers all over his ultimate. And she's surrounded by these blue flowers as well. Sir, but... As someone that like my pride and my joy on my younger siblings, like, yes. 